would declare the watchers of heaven who have left the high heaven the holy eternal place and have defiled themselves with women and have done as children of earth do and have taken upon them uh, taken unto themselves wives ye have wrought great destruction on the earth and you shall have no peace nor forgiveness of sin and inasmuch as they delight themselves in their children the murder of their beloved ones shall they see and over the destruction of their children shall they lament and shall make supplication unto eternity but mercy and peace shall ye not attain And Enoch went and said, Azazel, thou shalt have no peace. A severe sentence has gone forth against thee to brought thee in bonds, to put thee in bonds. And thou shalt not have toleration nor request granted to thee, because of the unrighteousness which thou hast taught, and because of all the works of godlessness and unrighteousness and sin which thou hast shown to men. Then I went and spoke to all of them together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them. And they besought me to draw up a petition for them, petition for them, that they might find forgiveness, and to read their petition in the presence of the Lord of heaven. For from thenceward they could not speak with him, nor lift up their eyes to heaven, for shame of their sins which they have they have been condemned, for which they have been condemned. Then I wrote out their permission, their petition, and the prayer in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually and in regard to the request that they should have forgiveness for the length of forgiveness and length of days and i went i went off and sat down at the waters of dan in the land of dan to the south and west of hermon i read the petition till i fell asleep and behold a dream came to me and visions fell down upon me and i saw visions of chastisement and the voice came bidding me I, I to tell it to the sons of heaven and to reprimand them. And when I awakened, I came unto them, and they were all sitting gathered together, weeping, in Abel Zeo, which is between Lebanon and Senesar, with their faces covered. And I recounted before them all the visions which I had seen in my sleep, and I began to speak the words of righteousness and to reprimand the heavenly watchers. <coughs> The book of the words of righteousness and of the recommended of the eternal watchers in accordance with the command of the Holy Great One in that vision. I saw in my sleep what I now say with tongue of flesh and with the breath of my mouth, which the Great One has given to men to converse therewith and understand with their heart. As he has created and given to man the powers of understanding and the word of wisdom, so hath he created me also and given me the power of reprimanding the watchers, the children of heaven. I wrote out your petition, and in my vision it appeared thus, that your petition will not be granted to you throughout all the days of eternity, and that judgment has been finally passed upon you. Your petition will not be granted unto you, and from henceforth you shall not ascend into heaven unto all eternity, and in bonds of the earth the decree has gone forth to bind you for all the days of the world, and that previously you shall have seen the destruction of your beloved sons, and shall have no pleasure in them, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And your petition on their behalf shall not be granted, nor yet on your own, even though you weep and pray and speak the words contained in the writing which I have written, and the vision that was shown to me thus. Behold, the vision clouds invited me, and a mist to summon me. And the course of the stars and the lightning sped and hastened me, and the winds in my vision caused me to fly and lifted me upward and bore me to heaven. And I went in till I drew nigh to a wall which is built with crystals and surrounded by tongues of fire, and it began to affright me. And I went into the tongues of fire and drew nigh to a large house which was built of crystals, and the walls of the house were like a tessellated floor made of crystals, and its groundwork was of crystal. Its ceiling was like the path of the stars and the lightnings, and between them were fiery cherubim, and their heaven was clear as water. Um, just what he says about the, the um, crystals being, being tessellated, like tessellated floors. Uh, if you've ever seen what he's talking about, all those different shapes, like kind of making a tapestry by coming together, 
that's exactly what uh, uh, I forgot the exact name, but the, the, the molecular pattern of crystals. They look just like his quasi crystals. Quasi crystals are a perfect embodiment of sacred geometry, in that the molecular formation of the crystal is perfectly identical to the end result, the third dimensional version of the crystal, which is exactly how the, the universe works. Is uh, uh, as above, so below, it's ascending and descending through many, many, many different densities and dimensions. And uh, what they're talking about with this tessellated floor it sounds exactly like the pattern of, of quasi-crystals. So it's very, very interesting. A flaming fire surrounded the delights of life therein. Wait, hold on. A flaming fire surrounded the walls, and its portals blazed with fire. And as I entered into that house, it was as hot as fire and as cold as ice. He's talking about energy, obviously. There were no delights of life there, and fear covered me, and trembling got hold of me. And as I quaked and trembled, I fell upon my face, and behold, and beheld a vision. And lo, there was a second house, greater than the former, and the entire portal stood before me, and was built of flames of fire. And in every respect it was so excelled in, splen in splendor and magnificence, and, ex and ex to the extent that I cannot describe to you yet its splendor, uh, to the extent that I cannot describe to you its splendor and extent. And the floor was of fire, and above it there were lightnings and path of the stars, and its ceiling was also flaming fire. And I looked and saw therein a lofty throne, its appearance was as, was as a crystal, and the wheels thereof as the shining sun. And there was a vision of cherubim, and from underneath the throne came streams of flaming fire, so that I could not look thereon. And the great glory sat thereon, and his raiment shone more brightly than the sun, and was whiter than any snow. Shone more brightly than the sun. None of the angels could enter and beheld his face, by reason of the magnificence and glory that no flesh could behold him. The flaming fire was round about him, and a great fire stood before him, and none around could draw nigh him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, yet he needed no counselor. And the most holy him, ones who were nigh to him did not leave by night nor did depart from him. And until then I had been prostrated on my face, trembling. And the Lord called me with his own mouth, saying, Come hither, Enoch, and hear my words. And one of the holy ones came and waked me, and he made me rise up and approach the door. And I bowed my face downwards. And he answered and said to me, and I heard his voice, Fear not, Enoch, thou righteous man and scribe of righteousness, approach hither and hear my voice. And go, say to the watchers of heaven who have sent thee to intercede, for them you shall intercede. For men and not for you. Whereafter have ye left the high, holy, and eternal heaven, and lain with women, and defiled yourselves, with the daughter of men, and taken uh, to yourselves wives, and done like the children of earth, and begotten giants as your sons. And though ye were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourself with the blood of women, and have begotten children with the, uh, with the blood of flesh, as the children of men have lusted after flesh and blood, as those also do who die and perish. Therefore have I given them wives also that they may impregnate him, impregnate them and beget children by them and that thus nothing might uh, that thus nothing might be wanting to them on the earth but you were formerly spiritual living the eternal life and immortal for all generations of the world and therefore I have not appointed wives for you for as the spiritual ones of heaven in heaven is their dwelling and now the giants who are produced from the spirits of flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are born from men. And from the holy watchers is their beginning and primal origin. They shall be evil spirits on the earth. Uh, uh, it's repeating this again. Uh, they shall be evil spirits on the earth and evil spirits shall they be called. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. But as for the spirits of earth which are born upon the earth, on earth shall be the dwelling. And the spirits of giants afflict, depress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on the earth, and cause trouble. 
They take no food. 